welcome to my realm, located beyond both time and space. Is this Arceus talking to us? It is well that thou art here. I am that which humans call Arceus. Now I wish to know thine appearance. Um, this guy, I guess. I'm wearing like regular clothes. I have a phone. Oh shit. What up, Arceus? Yo, oh, he's big. What'd you do with my phone, bro? Oh shit! Are you alive, my boy? We were dead. <laughs> Somehow, or or the real world, perhaps. I see. Well, no gentleman would abandon a person in such need. Crew. Hmm. Plish plash. <laughs> Ashwa. <laughs> no way. Ashwa just stood there and said, "Plish plash." <laughs> oh my! I'd completely forgotten. I had just caught up to these three runaway Pokemon when you tumbled out of the sky. It's as almost as if they knew you'd appear here. Almost. Ah, oh, but do you even know what a Pokemon is? Of course I do. Oh, blast and bother, my darling Pokemon. Why would you? It's my phone. There's a glowing beeping object over there. Okay, that's how you crouch. Oh. Found something that resembles a phone. I should appear on the screen. I bestow upon you this Arc phone and their mission. Seek out all Pokemon. Is Arceus texting me? Is Arceus in my DMs? Now that one is Rowlet. Rowlet can photosynthesize like a plant and apparently it battles using its sharp feathers. Cool. That one over there is Cyndaquil. Fire burning on Sentinel's back will flare up whenever it is surprised or irate. <laughs> Pokemon near the pond is Oshwat. Oshwat laps while floating on the water and it can battle using the shell like object on its belly. The Scout Chop. Plish Plash. all the skill you have around here. Only two. Okay, well. I said I saw Oshawott. And Rallis up here. What's up, Benji? I'm very happy to finally see me play Breath of the Wild. Nick, I'm not doing a walk. Okay. Oh, Rowlet didn't catch? Come on, Rowlet. Okay. Was that just to show me? That Pokemon can break out. Oh, what a relief to have them all back. You see, the three Pokemon you have caught only just arrived at the village to help with their research, yet they won't listen to anyone. They built from the village almost as if they knew you'd come falling. 
but I must say I was taken aback by how well you use Pokeballs. How's that you catch Pokemon so aptly when you've only just arrived here? One cow, but I think there's a reason you appeared here now. <laughs> Hello, Pat, like, man from... Seek out all Pokemon. The object is an arc foe, you say. What an odd device could be guiding you somehow. Storm above the mountain? Look, it's the beginnings of the region, my guy. It's not Sinnoh yet. It's Hisui. Damn, Benny. Damn, our boy's depressed now. Is it Dawn? Old Dawn? Who are you? I've never seen anyone just like you are. What if you were attacked by a Pokemon? You'd be minced mean in those flimsy clothes. If the guard lets you through, you must have ties with somebody in the village. Perhaps you've met Professor Landon. He's a scholar from faraway places. Pokemon do get away from at times, though. It makes me a bit worried for him. I suppose I'm hardly with it. I've had trouble with Pokemon myself. I was hit by a Pokemon move called Thundershock. Oh, not long ago I had to take it to my bed, but the Professor will. I do wonder how long he'll last. Unfortunately, it's just as Akari says. I'm a clumsy sort of fellow. Put it mildly. <laughs> Professor. Oh, her name is Akari. Isn't that what... No, in in Japanese, Don's name is Hikari, I think. But I've... without Captain Silene, Silene, Hikari is right. Yeah, I'm so good. She looks like Cyrus, and her name is Silene, and she's the head of the Galactic thing, Galaxy Team, Galaxy Team Survey Corps. Bro, this is Captain Levi. <laughs> Professor Lamington has told me you helped secure his Pokemon when they slipped his control, and now it seems he would like us to feed and house you in exchange for ongoing labor. You look to be 15 or so. Okay, so we're not 10. They're not sending 10-year-olds out to get beat the sh like get the shit beat out of them by wild Pokemon. Quite enough for to work for your keep, but we can't simply take on a stranger who wanders in among us without any idea of their skills or origins. Tomorrow we shall see if you can prove yourself worthy. Oh, a most reasonable decision. Among us. <laughs> yes, Benji. I'm sure you got plenty of questions for our visitor. That's quite alright. I prefer to eat alone, so I might appreciate my meals without distraction. My sister started playing at the same time, and she's text. Aloof as always, I see. So record, don't you? Not to worry, I have complete confidence in his skills. Let's hope it is not misplaced. Jinga Blade was it for tonight. At least we will provide you with a place to sleep. You may use our quarters there. But if you fail to pass the trial, we put you to you must move on. You will be expelled from the village to meet your fate. And perhaps your death Oh! Okay. This game is not for children. Bidoof and Bibarel. Huh. <laughs> the next day. It's Akari. Good morning, Jane Blade. Are you up? Quite some lighting last night, wasn't it? Today is the day of your trial, sir. Let's give it our all. You're gonna give me a Pokemon? Oh god, just a ticket to help him accomplish that. Nice. My boy, which Pokemon would you like to keep as your own? Oh boy! Time to get our starter! Well, I already know which starter I'm gonna take. As the stream title says, 
we are doing a ghost and poison type run of this game. And I guess this is kind of going to spoil it, but these starters have um, the final evolutions have different typings. And one of them is a ghost type. Normally it would be Rowlet, but Cyndaquil. We got our starter Pokemon, Benji. Who's this? Oh. You can already tell I'm quite the character. I'm Volo of the Ginkgo Guild. The go-to choice for any of your mercantile needs here at Hisui. How about you and I see how our Pokemon stand up to one another in a battle? Sounds good. Fucked up, Togepi. Uh, I think dodge attacks Oliver. Uh, Oliver, fuck. Benji. I'm sorry, I compared you to Oliver. Kari. Jam Blade fainted. Cyndaquil is out of usable owners. Yeah. Exactly. This is our base camp, the last safe haven before you reach the wilds. For time, just catch three species of Pokemon, Bidoof, Starly, and Shanks. Are you ready to get started? What help can, can you offer out here for them? The pacifying colors, you'll see. Well, let's begin the trial. <laughs> They're starly. They're skittish little things. They'll run if startled. They want you to hide in the tall grass so you can catch the Pokemon. Damn. I have no idea. Shinx hasn't aggressed it. Could you already tell that? More or less. Once aggressive, Pokemon get irate. They'll they'll knock aside any ball you throw at them. But more arrows. Okay. Exactly. I've got no doubt you hold your own in battle. I'm trash? What do you mean I'm trash? I'm like a gift the sky dropped us. Exactly. 
Though I think the Soviet Corps will have a chance of compiling a complete Pokedex that we've been ordered. This is wonderful. I'm still curious on why, why on earth you came falling from the sky like you did. But for now, let's tell the professor we're ready to head back. I threw my Cyndaquil. I didn't want to hit the Shinx with my Pokeball. This here is the official uniform of the Survey Corps. Sasageo. Sasa. <laughs> I'm never going to get over the fact that it's called the Survey Corps. It is kind of fire. I may wear what? My hat! You can't go on a Pokemon journey without a silly hat! <laughs> like a postman. The true, the true hero of North America. I've been waiting for you. Hello. Oh, I like him. He looks dope. Commander of the Exp Galaxy Expedition Team. So I'm, I am Jay Bleed. Yes, I am. Charge at him. Yeah. I got my ass beat. I need to work on my sumo technique. In other words, I'm a grunt. <laughs> Dude, d didn't he look, kind of look like Professor Rowan? But like younger? Start with. Crafting means taking, uh, making items with your own two hands. I've played Minecraft before. I know how to craft. You can buy some. Also, more Pokemon species can be duly recorded in the Pokedex. I'm not that. Here you are. Are you giving me a Pokedex? The Nuzlocke has started. I'm kidding. <laughs> We're not doing a Nuzlocke. Okay, so this is interesting about the Pokedex for this game. Is it's not just catch the Pokemon, right? I have to caught. I have to catch five Cyndaquils. I have to use Ember X amount of times, Quick Attack X amount of times, and other things. Made across to generate yourself a star. First star in the Galaxy Expedition team. On the other... 10? Point up to level 20 will also obey your orders reliably in battle. The rewards you earn for your server reports will be more generous now too. How these are well. Something I can use your help with. We're waiting for you at the training grounds. If you've caught a lot of Pokemon, you may want to visit the pastures to change up your team. Beauticia? But Beautifred or Beugene? Uh, I like Beugene the best. Or is Beugene to be splendid for his beautiful eye away and see? It's gonna become a dust ox, isn't it? Oh. I know you yeah, I am busy. What is your epiphany? Oh, she is a Pikachu. Ah, get fucked. How goes the game? Excellent, dude. So my syndicate just got clapped. I mean, yeah, y'all kind of clapped my my syndicate. Hello, Zizu, Captain of the Security Corps. If your Pokemon is truly mastered its moves, it can actually use them in different styles. 
On the one hand, you can choose to deliver a move in the strong style. The move will do more damage, but afterwards it will take longer for your Pokemon to act. On the other hand, you can use just to unleash a move in the agile style. A move will be will have much less power behind it, but your Pokemon can act more quickly afterwards. Truly favorable conditions might even get out two moves before the opponent can act. If you want to teach your Pokemon some powerful moves, just let me know. Boo! Clowning around? Thank you, Nick. How close are we to that, by the way? Uh, about 50%. We were trying to. Secret technique to catching Pokemon, you see. Secret backstrike technique. Hitting a Pokemon's back with your Pokeball will surprise them, making it easier to catch or giving you an advantage once a battle starts. Is Do you think this is the Cynthia lookalike? I, this guy's name is Volo. I'm not convinced this is Cynthia.